Hanging from Orion's belt in the blade of the hunter's sword is a jeweled cloud known as the Orion Nebula. Space here is littered with small globs of gas and dust. These are protostars, baby stars in the making, stellar cocoons, cosmic tadpoles. They form in galactic nurseries like Orion from clouds of gas and dust mingled with the ashes of earlier stars that have died and exploded. But like all newborns, the young star faces a perilous future. Buried inside this dusty cocoon, where astronomers can't see with regular telescopes, a secret star is being born. As the baby star tries to burn its way out of the cloudy egg that sheltered and birthed it, radiation from powerful stars nearby eats away the cocoon from the outside. Too much outside radiation can burn away not just the cocoon, but the disk around the new star, leaving the star naked and alone. If the disk survives, it could make planets, first by electrical forces as particles randomly collide and stick, then by gravity as clumps attract each other. As a planet forms, it will scour its orbit of dust, leaving a telltale gap like the grooves in a record. Recently, astronomers using the new ALMA radio telescope have made the most detailed picture yet of what might be planets being born. They found dark grooves scoring a disk around a star known as HL Tauri, some 450 light years from here. The disk is about 22 billion miles across, about four times the size of the realm of the planets in our own solar system. Are these gaps sheltering planets? Are we seeing the curtain rising on a new set of worlds like our own? H.L. Torrey is only a million years old, a blink in the long lifetime of a star. For a newborn sun, every grain of dust is a promise. It's morning in the Milky Way. Everything is still possible.